Good morning, week seven. Eating only meat until you have to get super healthy or develop a serious health issue, whichever comes first. Uh, it's, like I said, it's week seven, and um, we're gonna jump right back into where we left off at the end of the week six video right now. Good morning, week seven starting off right where we left off in week six. Uh, we're still heading to go get blood work, uh, but first we're gonna go, I'm gonna go meet my sister. We're gonna go grab some coffee and just kinda hang out for a bit, uh, cause she lives uh, on the way. Usually we, we do that, we try to do it once a, once a week or every other week. Um, so here we go. Right, we made it to the VA. Get ready to go in and get my blood drawn. Getting ready to cook some dinner. We're gonna have some uh, some of the Walmart Wagyu again, and a couple eggs cooked in butter. This is the back of the trailer. I uh, got it semi ready to go, um, but still have a lot to do. But uh, using the electric skillet because why not when you have electricity? Burgers are on, and of course, oh, he's living his best life. Dinner is served. All right, there's one pound here. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna roll it out as thinly as possible uh, and then put it onto a dehydrator tray. I'm gonna use a rolling pin and wax paper to roll it out super thin. Uh, I could use the hand, but I think a rolling pin will do kind of a more uniform job. There's the first pound. I'm gonna put it right here. Let that hang out for a little bit. All right, the three pounds rolled out to about four of these trays. So now I'm gonna plug this in, turn it on, turn it to 160. I'm gonna leave it there for probably 10 to 12 hours. I'll check on it in about eight hours. I just changed out my battery in the van. I bought a new battery and now I'm trying to install this wiring harness, but it got a little bit too dark. So uh, I think I'm going to call it a night tonight. So yeah, it's just a little bit too, uh, too dark to be undoing nuts and bolts this, this time. All right. I'm in the process of grounding up the meat. Uh, we've got about this much so far, just a little bit left. Kind of show you the process of what I'm doing. Got a magic bullet. And I am just taking, I'm going to put this in here, just like that. So I did the mortar and pestle, but um, I would have been grinding that meat for about three weeks, <laughs> as long as it took me to get to the consistency that's needed. So magic bullet it is. And when I think it's done, I, I dump it in here and I kind of give it a quick run through and I pick out the pieces that didn't get it. And I put it back in and uh, once I feel like everything is once I feel like it's good to go I just kind of and it's done in there not exactly sure how much uh, waggy I'm gonna need so I just put a big glob in there gonna let it melt down probably put some more in there and then just drained it off this little drain pan in here and mix it in the bag All right, there's about how much tallow we've got in there out of that container so I'm probably gonna need both hands to do this, but I'm just gonna pour this into this bag until it's nice and malleable. Got that done. Looks pretty disgusting, but now I'm gonna cut a corner off and like use it like icing and just kind of like put them right in there, just all nice and neat. That's the plan anyway, <laughs> that's theory. We'll see how it works. All right, there they are. Um, I, sp I topped them off with some salt and put a little bit of salt on top. And then when, once they set up a little bit, I'm going to pour a little bit of tallow on top just to kind of bump up the, the calories and the fat. So, yeah, I'll uh, come back whenever they're finished. All right, just sat down for some dinner. We've got a pile of bacon and some brown schwager, liverwurst. So it's this is a good way to get some liver in. Um, if you don't like the taste of liver, try some liverwurst. And, you know, you can, it's kind of like a, 
I don't know, I usually, I used to eat it with cheese and crackers and some mustard, um, but now I'm gonna eat it with some bacon. So there you go, dinner is served. All right, sorry, it's super windy today, so I'll try to keep the wind out of it, but this is what the uh, pemmican little cupcake looks like. Looks pretty tasty. All right, for dinner tonight, it is, what is today? Today's Tuesday. I cut up a rump roast into little steaks. I'm gonna try to put them in with the bacon grease that I cooked last night and see how they cook up. Uh, I think this turned out pretty damn good for $7 a pound, and I got two and a half pounds of it. I'll definitely be uh, doing it again. It's a little, uh, it's a little tougher, but you know that's to be expected. Um, I put some butter and cheese on the bottom of it, and uh, just to kind of add some fat to it. So it's delicious. All right, it's about noon. We're headed to the VA right now. I've got a one o'clock appointment to go over my uh, blood work results. So we'll see how uh, how all that comes out after. Uh, I got it done when I was about. 35 days on carnivore. So, here we go. All right, just got back from the doctor. Um, just got my results for my blood test, my blood work, um, and I'm gonna show that right now. But I'm gonna put up first a couple of other blood work results with the, the top two things that I was kind of worried about, my cholesterol and triglycerides, obviously. So I'll put up one from like 2017 and 2020, and then we'll go to 2024. So let's go over those right now. All right, 2017, my triglycerides were out of control. They were super worried about me. They wanted to put me on all kinds of medication. Uh, my cholesterol was 276, which is pretty high. Uh, I told them no because I had just found keto, and I thought that was going to be kind of like uh, you know my my savior, uh, which it was. It brought it down, as you can see, quite a bit in 2020. 284, but it's still almost double what the high end of the normal range is. Uh, and cholesterol is 275 still. Um, so that's, you know, that's definitely high. And then this time in 20, uh, 24, this is the first time I've ever had triglycerides in the normal range in over 20 years since I was a teenager, 137. And cholesterol is still 256, a little high, you know, to be expected, They you know, especially on, on the, the carnivore diet. And I really wanted to let her finish what she was talking about uh, before I told her how I ate because we were kind of in the middle of trying to, you know, lowering cholesterol. And she said there's two ways to lower cholesterol. She said, one, avoid fried food. I thought I could do that. She said, two, and I was like, here it comes. Here comes avoid red meat. Uh, she said, two, limit your carbohydrates. And I was like, wow, okay. And she said, normally, you know, I wouldn't suggest the keto diet because the majority of my patients are kind of older and they can't really grasp that that information. And it's just, they kind of like headbutt me and they don't really want li to listen to that because they think carbs are good. Um, but that that's when I told her I was on the carnivore diet. And she literally said, good. The longer you stay on that diet, the better your numbers will get. Now, I honestly didn't see that coming at all, and I was thoroughly shocked. Um, and she's like, and the closer you can get to lion diet, the better also. And she said, if you eat butter, eat grass-fed butter. Like, she knew all about it. So um, I was I was really impressed with, with this doctor. She was awesome. So that was, that was my uh, doctor's visit for today. Good news. Um, triglycerides are lower than they've been since... I, I've been, I was a teenager and my doctor gave me the thumbs up for the carnivore diet. That's that's a good day in my book. All right, we're gonna weigh in here in the garage. Got a nice flat surface to weigh on. Last time I was 285 and this time I am 285. There you go, 285 still. Um, eating what I want, eating when I'm hungry, eating until I'm full. Got my blood work back. Triglycerides are in the normal range for the first time ever. Uh, well, since I was a teenager that I can remember anyway. Um, yeah, had a good week. We're going back on the road tomorrow. Uh, not sure where we're going yet. We should get our um, get our, our, our route here in the next maybe a few hours. Um, but by that time, I'll be starting on week eight. So week seven in the books. See you next week.